Hey guys, in this video, we'll be looking at how to make a top bar. You can call it a share menu or you can use it as a navigation menu in your website or whatever way you want to use it, you can use it like that. So here we have a single page website with two sections that is about and contact. And here at the top right corner, we have a share icon and if we click on this icon, this menu appears. And if we click on cross, this menu disappears. And if it is open and even if we scroll down, the menu stays there in its place and it's available on throughout the page so you can use it wherever you want to use it so let's see how to make this inside code pen so here inside html let's grab the font awesome cdn from the font awesome website i'm pasting it here inside the body but you should typically paste it inside the head tag of your html now let's make a section with an id called top bar and we also provide a class called close to this section. Now let's make a div with a class of toggler. This will be a toggler icon, that is a share icon. And here we'll be using a font awesome share icon. So let's go to font awesome website and share, search for the share icon. So let's click on this share alternate. So now from here, let's grab the HTML and let's paste it inside here. Now let's quickly create two more or uh, four more divs with the class of brand logo. And inside in here, we put our brand logos that is first was the Facebook. So let's click on this and just copy the HTML from here and let's paste it inside here. So quickly I'll paste three more logos like this. So now here our top bar section is complete. Rest we will do inside the CSS. Now let's make two more section that is the section of about dot about section dot about and here we simply use a paragraph which says about and let's make another section with a class of contact and inside in the p tag we'll simply use contact here. Now this is all about the html part now let's go into the css. First of all, I'll be using a general selector and give all the elements a margin of zero. Now let's target the HTML and body and give them a height of 100%. Now let's style the top bar. It is a class, so a dot is required there. So we see font size to be 60 pixels, a height of 200 pixel, position to be fixed, width to be 100%, 100% of the viewport and a top of 0, a left of 0 again and we will display it as flex and we'll justify content to be space around and let's do align items align items to be center that is sent vertically center inside that uh, 200 pixel height now let's give it a background of an rgba with alpha channel so 0 comma 0 comma 0 for black and for alpha let's use 0 0.7 let's use the color to be white so that the icons are white there so now let's target the toggler icon that is the share icon so dot toggler so we'll position it uh, not to pointer event so we'll position it absolutely to its parent container position absolute top to be at 100% Let's give it a background color so that it's visible. So let's give it a background color of red. A padding of say one rim. I think that's enough. Or rather say padding of 0.5 rims on top and bottom and one rim on left and right. We'll display it as flex. Justify content to be center. Align items 
to be center so that the share icon is centrally placed inside that div and let me again change that padding to something about 0.7 rems to the top and bottom now let's give it a right constraint to something about say 2 rems so it's there now let's uh, style the or rather let's style the close class dot close and what we want to do we want to transform this container to translate by y in the negative y direction by minus 100 percent of its height so it's like this so as you can see it's hidden and we are going to toggle this class only inside the js now let's style the about section or rather let's target the contact section also at once so we'll give it them a minimum height of say 100% a font size of 8 frames I think that's big enough and we'll display them as flex just to put them in the center justify content to be center and align items to be center now let's target the individual about class Let's give it a background of say wheat and let's target the contact class. Let's give it a background, background of say pink like this. And now we have our two sections and we have this thing here. So now let's uh, go inside uh, or rather, first of all, let's give a transition property to this toggler class and we'll give it transition of all 0.3 seconds with ease and timing function so now let's go to our js let's grab that toggler or let's grab that top bar so var top bar is equal to document we'll be using document dot query selector dot top bar so we have our top bar there now let's grab our toggler var toggler is equal to document dot query selector it has a class of toggler that div has a class of toggler so we are, we are getting that element from there and we'll get our toggler icon that is the share icon so document dot query selector dot toggler and inside that div we have an element with i tag so now we have all of this so now let's add an event listener to our toggler element toggler dot add event listener and event is the click event which we want to hear i'm using arrow functions you can use normal functions also so what we want to do when anyone clicks on this toggler icon we want to toggle some classes so first of all let's toggle the close class from the section itself so top bar dot class list dot toggle close basically what toggle does is that if the class is present there it removes that class and if the class is not present there it adds the class and if we click here our menu appears and if we click again the menu disappears so now let's toggle some more classes in the toggler icon so let's copy this toggler icon toggler icon dot class list dot toggle and we want to toggle far share alt that is the class for the share button or rather the share icon it has to be toggle let's copy this and we also want to toggle that times class which will add that cross there as you can see now this is jumping and it's not transitioning properly so we forgot to add a class or rather we have forgot to add a property in the top bar that is the transition property transition of all with 0.3 seconds and is in timing function so now if we click here it slides down from the top and if we click this it hides it 
so guys this is all about this menu bar you can use it the way you want to use it and if you like the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel if you want you can support me on patreon.com i'll provide the link in the description below so thank you bye bye tata take care have a good day